How's it going guys, Squishy B here, and today we're working on a thumbnail for iPhone Star for Hire. Uh, he was doing a Dead Space 3 Let's Play. Um, he contacted me probably um, about an hour and a half before the, the series was going to go live. It was a bit last minute for him as well. He suddenly had the idea and said, hey, can you get me anything? Um, and it was a bit of a, a bit of a rush job, at, as you can imagine, and um, one of the things that I like about when I have tight deadlines like that is it actually makes you uh, rethink a lot of the work that you do because for me I spend a lot of time perfecting strokes uh, making sure that all the lines are, are correct and, and when you're working to such a tight deadline you don't really have those liberties um, and so you find that you you know I find that my line work and sometimes my color work can be a bit looser as you, can, you, you may be able to see here um, but the funny thing is that in the end uh, when you look back at it you can't really tell uh, that much difference and, except for in time so I mean I cut down time spent on this by you know maybe half and um, in the end you go oh well maybe uh, maybe I am being a bit too pedantic with <laughs> with stuff when I um, have those time liberties but one of the things that I need to work on is, is getting faster at what I do but um, yeah, so the downside to uh, this one is unfortunately the, the series isn't uh, going ahead uh, after all that for a few various reasons, but um, I thought I'd release this video anyway to, uh, to at least show it uh, when, the, when the thumbnail did go up. I, uh, there was quite a few you know, positive feedback, so um, I'll put this up here so you guys can um, check it out. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, just drop me a message or leave a comment. What I wanted to talk about today, guys, was the proposed changes to the new YouTube layer. For those of you that haven't seen it yet, they uh, or haven't heard, they are uh, doing a uh, looking at rolling out a new layer, and uh, which removes backgrounds and a few other things that um, basically changes the overall look and makes things all channels look uh, fairly similar besides a, a little banner at the top. Oh, that's uh, in the description. I'll add a couple of channels which have the new layout already. Um, and for those of you who have seen it, then obviously you know what I'm talking about. But uh, there's, there's been obviously a lot of anger and a lot of outcry from the community about it, and um, a lot of people getting frustrated and saying it's the end, uh, you know, of sort of personalization and, and all that sort of stuff, and that graphic designers aren't going to have, uh, or designers aren't going to have anything to do anymore. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that that's true. I just think that as uh, designers we're going to need to shift from what we do now, we've become a little bit probably too complacent with backgrounds, I mean that's just the way that things go. And the way that I think things are going to head is um, in two ways, but I think a trend's going to emerge uh, which I haven't heard anyone talk about too much yet, so I thought I'd share my thoughts on it. I mean the first is going to be the banners and I mean we all know that there's going to be a need for those. Uh, for me it's going to be actually exciting. Uh, trying to design to those guidelines because uh, for those of you who have seen it, it's basically one image that scales uh, for PC, for TV, for tablet, for mobile. Uh, it's going to basically be the same image, so we need to. There's going to be some challenges there in terms of getting something that looks nice across all platforms and in all sizes. Uh, so yeah, as I said, fairly excited for that uh, to see you know what comes out of the community and what um, and what happens. But uh, I think that one of the new design elements which is going to uh, become extremely popular is something that's not overlooked at the moment but probably isn't focused on as much and that is uh, video thumbnails. If you look at the design of uh, YouTube at the moment, you usually have your feature video at a, of a channel at the top and maybe two or three videos underneath. Uh, depending on your resolution, you may get sort of four or five above the fold uh, before you have to scroll down and sort of you know see what's going on there. Again, it depends on layout, etc. But um, with the new layout, um, with the changes to how things appear and the sizing of the videos, you're getting upwards of 15 to 20 videos on the page displayed at one time. And what that does is it makes a very busy looking page, but if your video thumbnails are, um, you know, there's no synergy there, you're going to have a very, very messy looking channel. 
And I think that, um, you know, I've already seen that with a few of the designs that um, are there at the moment. It looks like they've rolled over, um, but obviously they're still using just the thumbnails, which weren't such a big deal previously, but now it, um, it, it is looking a bit like a dog's breakfast. So I think that what is there's going to be a bit of a shift there in terms of uh, requirements. I think that people are going to start to um, to need thumbnails a lot more, and it's going to become more of a um, more of an importance to overall channel design. Uh, because if there's no synergy or you know your, your thumbnails are um, there's different pictures photos you know random text and stuff like that it's it really is going to look uh, kind of busy kind of crazy because uh, the fact that there is you know 15 to 20 videos being displayed at one time um, and if there's no synergy there it, it, it really is going to look a bit crazy I don't think it's going to be something that's required um, from the get-go I think it's going to be a trend that will emerge you know maybe a few months in as people start you know getting used to the layout and looking at ways to improve uh, once banners are done and stuff like that obviously banners are going to be the most important that's what people are going to you know go to straight away however um, my prediction is that thumbnails are going to become of greater importance and um, I think that you know for those people who have seen the channel designs I'll as I said I'll put some in the uh, comments below, um, maybe just let me know what you think. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, obviously, I haven't had any more experience at the new layout than anyone else, but this is just something that, from looking at what's there at the moment and trying to find uh, you know, needs, I think that uh, that's that's going to be a major. But that's just my thoughts, guys. Uh, let me know what you think below. Could be wrong. Could be right. Uh, I guess we'll um, find out as the uh, new layout rolls out. Um, but for now, I'll just let this one play. Um, enjoy the, uh, the sweet tunes of DeMello Beats, and this one's called Fly Away. As always, please go check out his channel. It's got some amazing stuff and some amazing stuff coming as well that um, you know I've been speaking to him about. So, but um, we'll release more information about that as it comes. So, thanks again, guys, and take it easy. <laughs>